Taurus moon, that's much better than Aries moon. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we figured that out. And I blame yeah. Drew for not fact checking for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a fucking Gryffindor would, huh? Mm. Thanks for that. You're right, Gryffindor would. <laughs> it's like some Gryffindor shit. Thanks so for, funny. for no help. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Girls Like Nerds. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I cannot believe I actually got her to come on this episode today. My good friend Anastasia is here in the Yay. building. Hi, honey. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, beautiful, Appreciate for having you. Me. Um, Okay, so I always like to do a little bit of a backstory on my friends and how I know them and our relationship together. Um, a second ago, we were trying to figure out how long we've actually known each other. Yeah, I it's a very know. long time. Well, to be completely honest with you, I do think we know each other from our past lives. So Ooh, that would be a very long time. Get into it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, in this bodies, in this reincarnation, I think we do know each other for about eight years, actually been eight years okay i think so like i, I was, I was gonna say time. about 10 but yeah dude, remember that fir- was it that first shoot remember that shoot that we did the first shoot we did on the, yeah. like random ass bag yeah. or whatever some like random fucking just photo sitting shoot there like did. i'm at that time i don't know i'm 20 years old and i'm sitting there and i'm just like oh my god this girl is so beautiful <gasps> and you walk by in this like super long like dress it was like a summer dress mm-hmm. and it's flowing and you're just perfect and i was like oh i want to be friends with her she was all pretty. Oh, she was so like, yeah, I'm well, paying her. The dreams come true. You guys, dreams come true. Oh, look at Yay. us now. Yay. Yeah, so Anastasia and I have like shot together a bunch of times. We've been mm-hmm. on set for a bunch of stuff together. Yeah. We've like gone to like fucking dinners and theme parks and all kinds of fun, just random ass shit yeah. over the years. <laughs> Literally <laughs> sure. everything. Yeah, a lot, a lot of fun. We've had like Thanksgiving. We and survived birthdays COVID together. together we survived bro. COVID together. I think we had your birthday. Was it your. Your birthday was in like COVID. I think it we celebrated your COVID. birthday during COVID. And I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure it was at the pool with you. Yeah, it was a great time. Yep, yep, oh, yep, we were just getting like, fucked up at the pool. <laughs> like, does it get much better? <laughs> like, that's it pretty, was fun. That's it was great. good times. It was good times for yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, that was, was a lot of fun. Yes, I've known it for a long time. Um, and I think today would be really fun. I, I talked to, I've had like a dabble in like the astrology world a little bit when Chelsea was in town um, because she like read my chart and like we went in deep just on my personal personality. I love but that. we didn't really get into like compatible signs and compatible signs. I think that'd be fun to talk about because I feel like I'm also genuinely kind of curious. Like your sign, you're compatible and compatible. My sign, my compatible and compatible. Yeah, I think the most compatible both of us, that would be the dollar sign. Ah! But, you know, <laughs> I <Cha-ching>. mean, <laughs> right. Well, no, my like we didn't sound. know it. Yeah. But um, uh, when we talk about, uh, you know, astrology signs, um, I'm on the cusp with Pisces and right. you're Pisces, mm-hmm. right? So, um, I mean, usually, like, generally, like, all that. What's your rising? We, Aries. I think you have an me, Aries yeah. rising? It's like two Aries in my chart. It's your like Pisces, moon Aries. Aries, Aries. Yeah. Your moon Aries, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. This is crazy. So, th- I'm Aries, Pisces, Cusp. So, this actually explains everything perfectly. Oh, okay. That was like, why we get along so well, though. We get along right? so yeah. well. Because I have four Pisces placements in my chart. But my moon is Cancer, which is a water moon, mm-hmm. right? So moon is your emotions, and you have an Aries moon, so your emotions are feisty. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a little sassy. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely That's true. sassy. <laughs> which is great. But, like, you feel strong, but you don't feel for long, and you get over fast, so mm. which is good. But yeah, well, preach, right? yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, but um, Aries rising—that's great. That's that's how people perceive you, right? How people see you. Mm-hmm. So people see you as like the independent, the like Aries is usually like fire energy, right? Oh, I love that. So that's like your rising. That's how people perceive. It's like you. Phoenix, I guess, right? That, that, like, exactly. That makes sense. Yeah. Perfect. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. So um, my rising is a Libra. So people see me as this, like, you know, this describes our outfits, actually. It described oh this perfectly. Oh, my God. Like, look our at you. Outfits. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, this is like Libra. You look it's like, like this, like, pretty little woodland fairy. Like a little fairy. angel. But yeah. when you get to know me better, you're like, mm, that's not correct, <laughs> really, description. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. So that's how it is. Um, but I would say, so if you are Pisces with Aries moon, Aries rising, you would get along really well with fire signs even though you are a water sign. But okay. what's your Venus? Do you remember your Venus? I don't remember. I'd have to. She did the whole chart for me, too. It's like all on the episode. I'd have to rewatch it back and yeah. double check. But no, I don't I, remember. I feel like your Venus is something fiery. Could be water, too, because you love deep. 
you have deep feelings. Could your Venus could be Scorpio or something. Okay. That yeah. shocked me. From okay. like what I know about okay. you. Definitely water signs for sure. Because you're a water sign. Uh, yeah. Fire yeah. signs, surprisingly, right? Air signs somewhat, but they could probably irritate you. I don't know. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That yeah, right. okay. but to be honest, like being Pisces, to be completely honest with you, I think you're compatible with almost anybody. Like it's just it depends on who they are mm-hmm. as a person. Is it because we're like the last on the zodiac? Yeah, because so like you a little combine bit of, the qualities yeah. of all mm-hmm. twelve zodiac signs. Really? Yeah. So I'm like everybody's yeah. dream. Exactly. Well, mm. I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 100%. some stars. Okay. <laughs> the stars said it. Um, so I like. Yeah. So I feel like the compatible signs are fun. And I wonder, like, I feel like this would explain so much why my dating life has just been in turmoil for years. Like, because of Aries move, moon. Is that why? Okay. I do think so. So, from my experience knowing people with Aries moon, um, it's very quick, could be quick, like, emotional decisions. <laughs> and once you make those emotional decisions, you do, like, you, you get yourself into this. You know, like, okay, what do I do now? And you tend to overthink. I tend to overthink, too. But plus to o- emotional decisions, for me, it's I'm just very emotional. Mm. So everything is just like, oh, <laughs> where is the, you know, the, the bucket for the <laughs> yes. tears? So, yeah. So you're not like that if your moon is in Aries. Uh, unless there's something that's like squares it or like something that affects it. Mm-hmm. I would have to look at the whole thing to see. But from what I know about Aries moons... It's more of like take a deep breath because before you block somebody, right? <laughs> you oh, know, girl, that part, yeah. <laughs> and throw put yeah. somebody in the trash. Yeah, I literally have to like sleep on it. Like, because yeah. if I get super emotional about yeah. something and I get angry or upset or sad, mm. I'm like, you're dead to me. Like, uh, yep. And then I'm like, okay, well, wait, girl, like, yep. s- sleep on this. Let's think about it in the morning and then see how we feel. Like, mm-hmm. otherwise, it's just absolute chaos immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aries is chaos. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> That's a very correct description, actually. This is just yeah. like so me. But then you get over it, too. That's why I like, like okay, also, moving yeah. on. Yeah, then I fucking yeah. get, I almost get over it. Like, it takes me a while, but when I'm over it, then I'm You're over done. it. You're done. There's almost nothing they can do. Like, yeah. this is how I am in my core, because mm-hmm. I'm Aries, right? Like, oh, I will suffer, and I will struggle, and I would maybe even give a second chance. But maybe not later in life. I'm like, no, mm-hmm. not worth it. But, you know, it's just like be there and, I'm, uh, uh, and all the <laughs> tears and all the sad movies and I'll tell all my girlfriends. And then and then I'm like, well, you know what? One day I'll just wake up magically. I'm like, that's it. You're fine. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. That's it. Went to the funeral. Like, yeah. R.I.P., baby. Yeah. <laughs> I wore like, a very pretty black outfit yes. to the funeral. Uh, I pretended it? to cry. Like yeah, pretend- one time. <laughs> said a couple yeah. okay words like yeah. i remember one time um i don't know how long ago this was a little while ago but you had said something i don't even know if you remember this because you were on a plane but you were coming home from like seeing your family or something and you were talking about how you were like listening to music and you started crying you mm-hmm. were just like crying on the plane and i'm mm-hmm. like bitch i do that like what i'd be yeah. like i'm not a big crier in real in like everyday life situations like but, like, movies and songs and shit, yeah, especially on a plane. Like, if I have, like, a fucking glass of champagne and I'm chilling and I'm in my element and I'm listening to music and I'm just, like, something fucking clicks. Yeah. And I get so emotional. So I can say a few things about that because that's been happening to me lately even more than before. So pl- when you're on a plane, right? First of all, I love being on planes <laughs> because nobody can call you. Girl. Nobody can bug you. Nobody the can reach the you. Ride, the longer the better. better. Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. Yes. The more wine they have, the yes, better. Exactly. So yeah, yeah, you just great. sit there and meditate. Yeah. I read books. I like listen to things. I write in my journal. Mm-hmm. It's just the best time, yeah. honestly. And um, I get downloads. So when I'm on the plane in my meditative state, I get downloads. It's just like more so like, oh, wow, this is what it was the whole time. And I didn't mm. know. Like you just realize a lot of things because... I feel like downloads. I'll, I like how you said that. Interesting. Yeah. yeah so I because before. I feel like when you when we go through our everyday life, we get so busy that we don't have enough time to think about certain things in life. Oh yeah. And you, then you, we you don't like, process a lot of we, stuff. Exactly. Yeah. We just shove it under the rug and then we keep going. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's the time to just like sit there and like self care. Yeah. You're you know, like forced to. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's good. It's really good. And I feel like that probably that time I was just crying 
I was way younger probably and didn't even realize like what am I yeah, crying about? a few about? years ago. Yeah, I was like, damn. But yeah. I was like, fuck, I, but I do that too. Yeah. And I, I like the that. idea of thinking of it as a download because I, mm. I think if you have a level of like you and I are just a little more in tune and evolved 100%. with our emotions and yep. like our third eye and just yep. being energetically connected, yep. like that can fucking happen. Mm-hmm. Like totally. especially just being a bad bitch, like out in the streets, totally. and like every You're now like, and then oh, you gotta. Yeah. I should cut bangs. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I should a, get bangs. What a download I just had so every after three glasses of red has, wine. Yeah, every good decision has started with me getting bangs. Okay, <laughs> life is going great. I should get bangs. Like, so funny. Uh, Not that it happened to me clearly. Girl, but, I, was, um, I thought those were like clip-ins for a long time. No, I was like, so, this I mean, I don't know what, but this happened to me. It happened I mean, it's super cute, but I really thought they were Halfway an so. accident, but halfway okay. I was like, I actually don't hate it, the way it looks. Um, so Listen, I'll keep you didn't it go full Britney months. Spears and fucking shave your head. So if, if you gotta oh. cut some bangs, stay sane. It's okay. I'm okay with That's that. What I thought. They grow back. It's all they right. But yeah, it um yeah, just for a little bit, I'll have this Pam situation going yeah, on. Yeah, it but is. Then, it's giving like nineties. Yeah, it's giving Pam, right? Oh yeah. my god, yeah. that's exactly what that it was. The, that's that so was funny. The point. I was hoping for it because I didn't want to like too much. I didn't want like a full thing that's gonna cover my eyes, oh, that's you a know. Vibe. But and um, I hate the bangs that come out like super wide because yeah. I feel like it makes your face look too fucking big. Hate too big, do that. yeah. And my head like is a nice narrow, kind of k- keeps your face like yeah. nice and long and angular. Like yeah. yeah, big head. All the downloads, you know. Girl, she's yeah, got <laughs> <laughs> got <laughs> downloading it somewhere. <laughs> I'm just downloading all the time. It's like the the spinning wheel of death. What is it? It's like downloading, downloading, down. It's never quite fully downloaded. My fucking mind <laughs> no, and body. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm what trying. Was that? <laughs> like, God damn it. Uh, that's so funny. Okay, I forgot to ask you about the bangs. But I was like, I'm going to see you today. I'm going to see if these bangs are clippings or if they're really hurt. Nope, they're real. They're real. They're real. Looks they're like real. You know. They're mine. Yeah. I'll survive. Okay. The rest is like, was this magic, from uh, but... some, was this from an incompatible sign that uh, the, the brought, bangs, the uh, brought the bangs along? Brought the bangs. Dare, dare it's a very Voldemort's. interesting question <laughs> because I do think certain, put it, life experiences have affected the transformation, if I may say. Yeah. But um, I do think that is just me being tired of the same thing I have okay, on my fair. head all the time. Yeah, girl, yeah. you're preaching the choir. Yeah, <laughs> you know. change my hair all the time. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. So I was like, well, I really wanted to color my hair black, <gasps> but I'm like, imagine if I do black, and then the next day I'm like. Hate it, actually. Hate yeah. What are we going to do? We're oh, going to be bald? Going back to bl- yeah, we're going to go back to blonde after that. It's going to take yeah. forever. I've done that before. Yes. Have you really? Yeah. I've it's a mission. Never, I've, I've seen been. you with black hair as a wig. I've never seen you with just like, I've right. seen you with black hair. So I, when I moved here 12 years ago, I had like dark brown. So it was like like the highlights in your hair. I, think I remember that. Okay. But it wasn't black fully. Okay. So that's yeah. like the darkest my natural hair been. Okay. It was good, but um, yeah, it was like, it took me probably two or three years to transition to blonde without completely losing Damn my hair yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can't have that uh-uh. oh no girl just stay blonde yeah yeah, yeah yeah i guess we're gonna get, keep get bangs it's gonna be bangs for now yeah. <laughs> and, black wigs, yes. yeah. and black wigs yes and black wigs yes the black wigs look great i they love look, black wigs so good. Yeah. they're fun because you have light eyes too so i feel like dark hair and like lighter eyes it's it so much it more out. striking yeah oh thank you yeah. thank you yeah. maybe yeah. one day i'll be just like dump the bucket of uh you know hair dye on my hair and I'm girl, anything's possible yeah, yeah. i agree <laughs> just, that is very true it's all downhood <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna happen yep. um yes yeah, so i feel like let's talk your compatible sign this is a, um yeah my and compatible without signs. saying any names or anything because i'm just just because a bitch is genuinely curious me um have there been anybody that you've dated recently that when you've looked into their their astrology i guess almost chart a little bit chart. without mm-hmm. i don't know if you sometimes like people a lot of people don't even like believe they think it's a bunch of fucking hollow blue or whatever like well, whatever, i actually whatever. do believe and i actually yeah. go in and I actually ask all the questions yeah. and i do their chart and i tell them everything about them and yeah. i'm like damn <laughs> have you ever read someone's <laughs> chart that you're dating and then found out on the chart like the universe was like bitch this is this is not your man but you still kept dating them yeah <laughs> I feel like that's something I would do. Yeah. I'd be like, but um, I'm going to prove you wrong. Uh, yeah. yeah. Here and we it go. It doesn't work out. The, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Aries and us, um, both of us, as we found out. <sighs> yeah. Well, uh huh. Something like that happened. Definitely. Quite a few times, I think, since I'm single. Has it happened um, recently? Yes, I okay. do think so. So I do believe that 
their relationship in our lives, right, that that are karmic relationships because we have to get through that again mm. because it's somebody that we had in past life, right? Because you know how I believe in too, like, well, Buddhists believe that we reincarnate, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I actually genuinely believe in that. I believe it's energy. Energy never dies. It, it is energy. Our uniform, soul yeah. is a part of the universe. Absolutely. It's a part of the divine, right? So we keep coming back in different bodies. I believe in that for sure. Um, I got a good body this time. Oh, oh, God, God, thanks. Lucky, huh? yeah, I, got lucky. I had to pay for some of it, but Plus, damn, most know, of it's some pretty things good. Uh, have been added. <laughs> of they're pretty so, nice. Yeah. So yeah, we'll take, <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take those enhancements. <laughs> Well, good thing we live in the day and age that we can actually adjust <laughs> whatever we didn't choose correctly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no, definitely. I feel like some relationships are karmic, and you're supposed to get through that cycle to realize certain things usually has to do with letting go. And maybe every person that's given to you is a mirror, right? It's a mirror. It's a teacher, yeah, right? So, like, until you meet someone, I do believe in soulmates, but I, t until you meet someone that's like, okay, this is my person, everything is easy, it flows, it's meant to be. It might not be like a crazy, oh my God, this is like fireworks and sparks and whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, See, that scares me. Love. I don't want that. Well, I usually run away from that eventually yeah. because it's like, okay, this is a lot. This it's is like, it's just, it much. starts too fast. And things that start fast end fast. Uh, so I don't want This anything. is exactly <laughs> what I said to that person. <laughs> this exact sentence. Yeah. Things that start fast and fast. Yeah. So I feel like karmic relationships, they start fast and they end fast mm. as long as they taught you that lesson that you're supposed Absolutely, to learn. Yeah. Right? So like, actually this year, this is the year of the dragon in Chinese astrology, I right? I love that. Okay. So um, it is a tricky one because it's like one of the most favorite zodiacs in Chinese astrology, yeah. right? But it's the life-changing year. So for example, oh, right, last dragon year, I moved to the States. Shut this up. is how life changing. No yes, way. twelve oh years my ago. God. Twelve years ago, exactly. So when does the actual Chinese New Year start? Is it the same as it ours? Started? No, it started in February. Oh, okay. Yeah. So February so to February to February. Okay. Yes. Ooh, okay. So the next Chinese New Year is going to be February. Okay. So yeah, um, you look at the chart and you're like, okay, like this is interesting. If you have a lot of uh, things like, say, like us, right? Like your Aries Moon. Aries rising, I'm Aries. If you have repetitions like this, mm -hmm. especially between Venus and Moon, like his Venus, your Moon, or your Venus, his Moon, or you have, um, like rising, not so much, but like Venus and Moon, those two are very important okay. in relationships because Moon is your emotions and your feelings mm -hmm. and how you process them, right? It's deep inside. Mm -hmm. Sorry, deep inside. <laughs> uh, but your Venus is how you love. And it doesn't only have to do with romantic love. It has to do with all kinds of love that there is, right? Like friendships, like, friendship. yeah. like yeah. love for, I don't know, ice cream yeah. or whatever <laughs> love, right? You love the sky, you love the yeah, sunset. Champagne, yeah, champagne. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Champagne, exactly. whatever. <laughs> right. But um, yeah, it has to do with romantic love too. So whenever you see those flipped or repeated in charts, you're like, oh, we're about to learn something here. So is that like, because that could be a pattern, could that also be like a generational, like, as we're being reincarnated, could that also be something that I'm like, okay, all, most of my exes are Gemini's, and it's worked out zero times, by the way. Not once for maybe some reason. I keep dating these fucking Gemini's. Maybe your Venus is a Gemini. Maybe right. So then, am I wondering? I'm wondering if that is like an energetic thing that I constantly keep coming back to, and the universe is like, you need to realize that this is not a Gemini. Is not your person. Like, it why do you keep doing be this? You attracting that energy. I think I am. Yeah, like really just it could be me. you attracting that energy in order to work through it okay. to eventually get that the answer of like, okay, this is not what I want. I'm going to go for a Taurus, for example. I haven't I've only dated like, Gemini's or Leo's. It's crazy. Like seriously, days has only been those two. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, damn, well, can I get anybody else? Like, <laughs> oh, It's your Aries, I think, that attracts um, Gemini because okay. that fire energy that's mm. what Gemini's would be attracted to. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, it, it's a it's lessons that keep coming. I don't know why. Maybe yeah, you, you, you would learn. have an <laughs> answer when you think about it. I think know. so. Yeah. If I really like really sat and thought about it and just like put my foot down and was like, well, I'm not gonna do this anymore. Sure, I, I could probably come up with something, but yeah, I have yet to do that. So. Well. Yeah. So wait. So when you good. were saying, um, the 
because I want to backtrack for a second. You were talking about things that start fast and fast. Mm -hmm. I feel like, do you find yourself in a pattern with that though too? Like, do you love hard fast because you love love? I do. And you're like, okay. But I also feel like you're such a loyal like person Very. and you're a passionate person. Very. So if you, sure. like I could love love and, and meet somebody and like have a deep connection, but that's a real connection. And I could be like, okay, I know right away if I want to take this further or if I don't want to take this further. Is that something that you kind of know right away or do you, according to even like your chart, is that something that actually could take you a little bit longer before you're like, oh, now I'm starting to realize this might, some cracks in the armor might not be. <laughs> There's always cracks. <laughs> might not be my Prince Charming then. <laughs> Let's get along here. Um, I think with time, with age, I became more paced with that. Like I try to take my time with it. Mm. Right. And I try to really see the person and not just trust the chemistry because any the time sexual before, chemistry can be one thing, but this can be one thing. It doesn't really compatible. Yeah. anything else. Actually, yeah. it's just sexual chemistry. That's it. Like, I mean, girl, look at you. Everybody got sexual chemistry all of a sudden. Damn, yeah, I'm like, okay, I don't blame them. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, walking okay. chemistry. I mean, yeah, <laughs> um, I had uh, good grades in chemistry, but anyway. <laughs> An A plus in chemistry, baby. A plus, yes. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think with age, I learned how to like take my time, mm. and I learned. I definitely like by having experiences and dating different people in the past, uh, having relationships. I realized what works for me and what doesn't. Right. So whenever I see those red flags, I know one thing now: people do not change. And yes, unless they want to change, sure. But for a man, excuse me, a man, and we're not 15 here, that's mm -hmm. going to be a certain age mm. to change. Do you think that's like, gonna take a lot. like if you meet somebody, you read their chart, you know this is who this person is, it just cosmically, this is who you are, whether you want to admit that or not, it's who you are. Do you think that that's something that needs to be like talked about in the beginning of dating somebody and be like, listen, like, I know you might not believe this shit, but I don't know how compatible we're going to be because of X, Y, and Z. And a lot of people that even don't believe it, you can't learn and process and work on it because you don't even think that this is an issue to, to be talked about. Mm -hmm. So then, of course, there might be a problem. Like, is that something that you actually talk about with a partner? No, not so much. Okay. I do believe that you can be compatible with anybody. And you can make it work with anybody. Maybe that's why I'm single. <laughs> but just saying. <laughs> making it work with everybody. God damn. <laughs> but I do think that you can make it work with anybody. Um, if the per But there's other things like the more 3D realm things, like 3D world that we live in, right? If the person comes on a date and be like, well, I'm actually married. I have five kids. And I'm just looking for a mistress. I'll be like, well... Sorry, sir, but I don't need to read your chart. No, I know no, this is no, not going to work like, out. Okay, cool. Let's get the really expensive bottle of wine. And then <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Like, Let's get out of here, what? exactly. I'll take it home. Oh, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll take it to go. Thanks. <laughs> to my home without you. That, Thank you listen, very much. Shit like that happens, though. Uh, yeah. Like, what? Yeah, it actually does happen in that like, a insane. lot. I don't know what people are hoping for, but yeah. It blows my mind. Like, you're, so yeah, some people, yeah. you're like, and, and also, like, because we're so, like, energetically connected, yeah. like, here and here. Mm -hmm. I can meet somebody, I feel like, within a few minutes and know if we're even going to get along at all. If I even oh, want to spend sure. more than five minutes in your company. For sure. Like, for sure. But totally. a lot of people aren't like that. A yeah. lot of people can be super on the surface because they're not as yeah. in tune emotionally and energetically with the world around them. It's like super like on the surface and they, they can't make those, those choices. They don't realize it at all. I agree. A lot of people are like that, unfortunately. Yeah. I do think. Um, do you find that with like friendships too? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Like, I think first impressions, and this is what I learned, oh, God, the hard way, I think. But first impressions, they don't lie. They really like, don't. whatever, like, because we do well, have no, strong a couple intuition. Hard ways, yeah, right, yeah. And, like, when we meet someone, I'm sure you can relate, but, like, when I meet someone and I'm just like, oh, no, this is tricky. Fucks. Fucking but tricks. then the person somehow gets their way into my life. Mm -hmm. And I actually keep like talking to them and keep being friends with them or whatever the relationship may be. And then at the end, the person proves me that I was yeah, right in the yeah. beginning. Now I'm like, okay, I'm going to trust this. 
So like, you're, and you really, it's like your gut. You really have to yeah, do a lot of trust. You have that to trust too. It. I feel like that's you happened so many times. Even just not just with like relationships, but with friendships. Yeah, I've totally. like even I don't, I don't even remember my old roommate. I, I won't, we won't say the bitch's name, but like this girl I used to live with. Yeah. The first time I met her, we were working at this same place together, and she had just like said some sideways shit to me, and I was like, "Who the fuck does this girl think she is?" And it just really rubbed me the wrong way. But we would work together all the time. I'd see her all the time. We ended up living together. We would go on the same auditions. We worked some of the same jobs. But little did I know over the years, she was like poisoning my energy or to other people and like saying bad things about me and doing bad shit behind my back and like really sabotaging That's me. I had no clue. And then at the very end, I was like, yo, like it was a, it, it really come full circle, but it took years before I was like, why didn't I want to admit that in the beginning? You want to give someone the benefit of the doubt. You do. And it's just because you have a good heart. Right. Yeah. That's you keep doing that. And I keep doing that, too. But it, it is an energy thing. And I know it, it like I, totally. we keep saying it's an astrology thing, but, but, but that's my way of ration, like understanding it, it to people. Yeah. Right. Like this is it's because of this. So if you feel this way here about someone or something, trust it, trust it, trust it. Because you're just fucking right. For sure. A hundred percent. I agree with you. And I'm pretty sure you dealt with it a million times. Of course, look at you. Fantastic. You're gorgeous. You're a great person. Yes, that's true. So if people are intimidated by you, they're jealous of you. The girls would be jealous of you. Mm -hmm. They'd be just like, who does she think? She and then once they find out you're nice and smart, they'd be like, oh, I mean, she is a, a sure. unicorn. Yeah. I am scared of her now. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. It, people think, which is funny to me, people think like, oh, if you're pretty, life is just so easy for you. Um, Not to be. I wish I was ugly mentality. sometimes. Like, I wish I was a busted ass, fat, ugly ass bitch. Well, oh, how much simpler would life be? Exactly. Then you don't have a choice. It's like when you have 10 dresses to wear and you need to choose one, it's really hard. Yeah, I don't even leave the house because I'm like, hold on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, if this but, is the only path, you know, like, what's yeah. the, you're like, you're so happy because you're so oblivious to there being any other options and any other path in your life. We're like, this is yeah. like, yeah, we're yeah. like, and I know, but we sound like, so superficial but it's facts so we're, we're attractive girls but we take care of ourselves yeah so half the reason we're attractive is because we take care of ourselves 100 percent. it's all like i was not born like this. yeah like i've looked at all the photos of me and like ooh, Same. sis Same. Ooh, outside look like Same. that <laughs> like, you, it's constant it's another job yeah 100 percent. but people think that everything's just given to you and it's just so annoying to me sometimes because it's like no actually this is the opposite mm -hmm. because you constantly get this like Oh, she's pretty. Like, oh, it's it's very unattractive when people do and, that. And it I becomes think. more unattractive. And it kind of breaks my heart because I feel like the nicest people I know in my life are my friends. And my all of my friends are really attractive girls. Girls, yeah. But, like, they're so sweet and they're so genuine and fun and yeah. fucking nerdy and weird yeah. and cool. Yeah. You're like, oh, my God, there's there is a, a group of unicorns here that yeah. people don't even realize exist. Yeah. Because you see somebody on the surface, but I, and I, I keep bringing this back to energy and like the stars in the universe. Because when you, if you can really like be in tune with that as a human being, you could open yourself up to so many great people in the world and totally. in your life. And like, how much fucking better could totally. life be? Totally, I think it starts with gratitude. Mm. As simple as it sounds, and every single spiritual person probably said it a million times already, but. It starts with when you wake up, be thankful that you're woke up mm -hmm. this day because yeah. somebody didn't. Absolutely. You Fuck. know, and it doesn't matter if you're pretty, if you're skinny, if you're fat, if you're whatever you are, like you're alive. You're alive. And that's a gift. Yeah. And that means that you're here for a reason, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not to be nasty to other people. <laughs> yeah, for I no think so. reason. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I also feel like a girl, listen, I'm telling you, this is clearly the Aries in me because like I'm so cool, so cool, so cool until I'm not. Like, I'm the nicest fucking person. I hold the door open for you. Like, mm -hmm. I'll help you out. Like, I'll yeah. put money in people's meters if someone's expired. They don't know. I'll pay for somebody behind me. Yeah. Like, no, you are. 100%. Do I've seen this a million times. I know you for a long time. That's, a, I the agree. 100%. Yes. Like, no, but that's sentence. how it is. Because like, if you break the trust, there is really no coming back to mm -hmm. it. There's no coming. There's no coming back at that point. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I've that, and I feel like that's us being a more of an involved kind of person it's just i think that's us being loyal yeah so when you're loyal you yeah i try not to have expectations of others until i like get to know them but you expect the same treatment mm -hmm. in return mm -hmm. that's just all it is so that sucks it's really giving that energy to the right people yeah to your people and finding your people True. which could be challenging at times 
girl facts. Yeah, for sure. So that's all. And then that's talking like the um, from the first shoot. I feel like there was that connection when we first met on that first shoot that it was that is uh, the first meetings don't lie. You yeah. know, like the first time we hung out and met, yeah. it was like, oh, well, we just clicked and it was perfect. It was great. Yep. The like, first impression was great. Yeah. I was like, oh, wow, she's so sweet and she's so nice. <laughs> I was like, oh, she's nice. And everybody to me. Like, gets like so surprised. That, listen, I have like resting bitch face, like for the gods, but <laughs> it's mostly just because I'm like, like I'm just trying, I'm thinking so much about random shit. Like I'm just thinking, like, anyway, this is one scene in Harry Potter. Like, how come <laughs> we didn't, like, like I really don't understand why he didn't die when the basilisk stabbed him. Like, I thought the Horcrux would have died. Like, because I'm, I'm just like thinking about stupid shit. Do that's my resting bitch face. New one? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Do you know they're filming a new one? Do you know about this? Oh, the mm-hmm. show. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah, my God. The show. oh my God. Oh my God. I was trying to go. But sorry. I think I'm going to die when I see it because I'm like, I just can't. Like, yeah, I live the there. the TV show. I live very. there with those characters, with those actors. Those are, like, those, that's, that's my Hogwarts. Like, yeah. you're not going to shit on my Hogwarts memory like that. You're not going to do it like that. I have to watch it because I have to watch to it. See, yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm watching it. But I'm going to go in, like, not happy about it. Like, I'm just not going <laughs> to be having <laughs> Be like, mm, no. I'm like, this is going to suck. This is going to be terrible. Yeah. And watch me just absolutely love it. I mean, who fucking knows? But yeah. There's, yeah That's a possibility, HBO. too. Yeah. yeah, they're doing the show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Each season is one book, right? Really? So, yeah. Each season is a book? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. So, so we're going to have try seven and do, seasons? Yeah, and they should, the episodes should be, like, movie length kind of episodes kind of like game of thrones so they'll be like that's hour, interesting oh they really have hour. to stretch it out well i hope yeah. we see more magic I, I just we just want more magic yes and more, more magic magical in my life creatures please thank you i'd we'll take more 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 magic yeah. <laughs> more magic would be um, great. yeah i was really i'm really happy that i got to see you today Me too. and we this really delved awesome. into some like interesting kind of yeah. conversation i feel like i i'm learning so much about um just the stars and our souls and our energies and I like learning as many new things as possible. And I think having this platform, yes, it's girls like nerds, but I've, I'm discovering nerdy conversations can be fucking anything you're passionate about. I love anything. I love the name, just so you know. Because they do think girls like nerds. Yes. We really Brains do. Brains is the most attractive part of the man's body. It is. Well. <laughs> yeah. For me, yeah, at this point. Well, I mean, their bank well, accounts too. Yeah, okay. But. Yes. Well, two out of three. But you know, if they don't have any brains, usually, girl, there's yeah. no hope for anything else. Yeah, because I like, I love these conversations. Yeah, like I could sit and talk about till four a.m. till five till the sun comes yep. up. That's but true. But if I'm seeing somebody that isn't maybe as compatible with these kinds of conversations, then it's not the same for me. But I feel like it I know a lot of girls that are like that too. That you really, want. even if you true. don't think you are, you really do want to have your mind open and have deeper like more kind of fun nerdy conversations like this. true i love you i love that yeah 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 <laughs> anyway so thank you for coming thank you so much for having me it was such a pleasure oh thank you baby. Such a great time. and then before quickly before we sign off can you tell everybody your social medias please yes i'm anastasia and my instagram is anastasia supernova supernova <laughs> all right baby girl i love you so much thank you again i love you too thank you so much for having me yeah this okay, was such a great time this is such, i'm so great so grateful yeah, all right love too. you guys See you soon. Bye. Um, okay, so psych, not done yet. I just found out that I was completely fucking wrong, and Chelsea's gonna kick me because I was wrong last time too. I am not a Aries moon, I'm a Taurus moon. And if you just go back a couple episodes, you could have found that out, but we didn't do that. So that's okay. So before um Anastasia leaves us, I do want to talk about that real quick. So what does that mean if I'm a Taurus moon? Taurus moon. Um Taurus is an earth sign. It's like it's ruled by Venus, right? So if your moon is in Taurus, you're actually more it's it would be different from Aries. <laughs> you're more chill. You're more chill emotionally. You're you're more collected. You're very stubborn. So if you kind of like feel some kind of way, that's how you feel. Mm. But um Taurus likes luxury. Taurus so, does like luxury. Yeah. So <laughs> things yes. make you happy. <laughs> you know, like, and, and no, that's nothing no, wrong with I, that. Oh my God, that's you right. Know? That's like, that's your love that language. Yeah. Um, it's okay. It's my love language, too. I like shiny, like, pretty things. All right. So, like, and, yeah, but Taurus, Taurus is, like, it loves love. It's more, it's Venus. It's ruled by Venus. Oh, so, it's love. more romantic. It's more like that. It's when you're genuinely about someone, like, like someone. So, yeah. Taurus moon is a really good moon to have. You're very emotionally stable. 
So is that you? Would you say Taurus moon, moon is better than an Aries moon? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad because you have a Taurus moon. Me that that I have a lot of Aries in my chart. I know she was like, you do yeah. have a lot of Aries. Probably she was even rising, shocked. I can tell. So I think that's why I was like getting confused. I remember yeah. thinking Aries is like, oh, that's like the god of war. Like, I, of course. So, yeah. so I'm just like, I get like super yeah. feisty when I get feisty. Maybe it's your rising. It could be your Mercury too, but I don't think you think. I think you're more soft. Uh, Mercury is the way you communicate. Okay. Um, I think you're more soft in communication. You are very diplomatic. So maybe it's like Libra or something like that. Like it's more diplomatic. Okay. Uh, hmm, but okay. Taurus moon, that's much better than Aries moon. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Glad we figured that out. And I there blame you. Drew for not fact checking for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a fucking Gryffindor would, huh? Mm. Thanks for that. You're Gryffindor would? <laughs> like some Gryffindor shit. Thanks, so for, thanks for no help. <gasps> Come on, Ron. <laughs> God, you useless. <laughs> Ronald. <laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah. So we just wanted to, before we fully signed off, to correct me. So now I actually know a little bit more truth about that. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Taurus. Oh, okay, seriously, for real this time. Love you. Love you. Love you more. And uh, I guess I'll see y'all later.